I just want to say welcome back to another Surgical Tech Tips video. Today we are back in the hospital. Yes, 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 we are back in the hospital. What, what? And I wanted to bring you back here because I wanted to take a little tour of the OR. I thought it would be, uh, I thought it was a good idea, you know, just, just kind of give you an idea of the different areas, equipment rooms, substerals, uh, ORs, and, and different places that you're going to see in the OR that you may not have realized are in here. So stay tuned. For the first stop on this tour of the OR, this is the front desk. This every morning you will come up to the front desk. We will have a you know five ten minute meeting about uh, previous day or things that are happening over the course of the week. Just little updates that you'll hear about throughout the throughout the week or or throughout the day that you may need to hear. Uh, you know specimen problems that have happened uh, to people or uh, maybe some near misses that have happened within the month. Things that everybody in the OR should really hear about. Most importantly though, is this board. This board, sorry I have to black out the board, but this board here is, is your lifeline to what you're going to be doing for the day. You'll have all of, the, all of the OR rooms listed on the top. Your board may be differently, at the ho may look different at the hospital you're working at, but it'll look similar. You'll have your cases for the day all lined up doctors, you'll have uh, you know your nurse and the tech in the room, all that information will be up at the board and you know throughout the day you just have to kind of come up here and check the board to make sure you're still in the same room basically. <laughs> so the front desk, this is where your journey begins. Substerile corridors. This is a substerile corridor. It's kind of like the back door to the ORs. And they actually have back doors to the ORs. This is room three, and we have two, one, this is six and seven over here. These are all the back doors to those ORs. And the reason for that, this corridor connects not only all of those ORs, but this is a substerile corridor. It's not opened to the outside hallways. Well, it is technically, but by a door. We're able to keep sterile equipment in this substerile room. This is stuff that you can get on the fly. This is, this isn't everything, but this is, these are all high use items that you will need during a case and that you may need multiples of during a case that may not be picked on your case card. We got our, flu our, our fluid warmer and a blanket warmer both right here and in between our sterilizer, flash sterilizer. Try not to use it all the time. Gloves, gowns. Gloves and gowns are probably the highest use item that you'll need to grab more of. Uh, you know, you may have a resident coming into the room or some other type of student or you have to break after, your, you know, at some point during your case. If somebody comes to give you a break, gowns and gloves are right here. It's easy to grab. You don't have to walk all the way back to the, sub, or to the actual sterile utility room. It's nice. It's nice. And every single one of our ORs in this hospital is connected to a substerile room. Fantastic. This is the OR. I will go into more detail in another video, I think, of, of everything that's, that's in this OR. But just know this. This is gonna be your home. This is gonna be, this is literally gonna be your second home. You're gonna spend more time in this room than you probably will at your own home. That's your home! Are you too good for your home? It's really sad to think about, but it's, it's kind of true. <laughs> this is the sterile supply room. Sterile supply room is, mm, 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 mm. it is important. And it's important to know where everything is in this place. At my hospital, when you are first hired, usually they give you, you know, like a three page sheet and, and you have like a little treasure hunt and you got to figure out where certain things are on the sheet. It's so, so, so important to figure out 
where everything is in this room and familiarize yourself with this room when you start working at a hospital. Now things are labeled generally in a good way. Uh, we have, for instance, drapes, towels and basins, staplers, all of our robot stuff, cysto, heart and vascular, and then all on the back wall we got like ortho, GYN, gloves, general. It's great that they label that stuff, but get in here and familiarize yourself with this utility room. It's so, so important to figure out where all these supplies are. You don't want to be wasting time after you set up a case. Maybe maybe you set up a case in the morning and you realize that you're missing something or you know you forgot to pull something for your case cart. It's going to take you a certain amount of time to find that if you don't know where it is. The less time, the better off you are. If that patient is in the room and on the table and you have to run to grab something before the case starts, you want to be out and back immediately and as quickly as possible. You don't want to be back here searching around for five minutes while your patient's on the table with just a nurse in the room. It's just, it's not good patient care. So you need to know where your stuff is. This place, this place is where you'll pull your case carts. For us, we don't really have to pull our case carts anymore because we actually have a team that does it for us. But this, this is the place, this is the place. And if you actually have a hospital that, uh, that, that has a team that pulls case carts for you, maybe, maybe suggest, you know, while you're first starting off for the first couple months or few months, Ask them if you can pull case carts in the afternoon for them for a certain amount of time. So you can, that'll really, really get you familiar with all of the supplies back here. It's, it's a good idea. This is our equipment room, which actually, to be honest with you, this equipment room looks fantastic. It's a Sunday, so it was well organized. Halfway through Monday, it's gonna look like a bomb went off in here. And that happens. But you'll have plenty of equipment that you can find in here. Stirrups, extra laptops, bogey machines. Any, any machine that you cannot fit inside the room is found in here. And also uh, foam products and uh, scrubs and stuff like that for, and gloves for the patient as well. Bear huggers, all sorts of non-sterile type stuff. Can't forget the uh, can't forget the elevator too. Our sterile processing is actually on the first floor, and our OR is on the second floor. So this elevator there's actually two sides to it. This is the clean side on the clean elevator and clean area. So if we have a canceled case and we just need to send down some clean stuff, or conversely, if they need to send some sterile uh, trays up to us to flash, or some trays that they just wash for us to flash, or anything like that. They can send it up on this elevator and we can grab it from the elevator. Next is this nasty, nasty, dirty room. The horror. The horror. The horror. This is the dirty, dirty utility room. This is after every case. We bring our back table, our ring stands, whatever it is, cover them up. We bring them into this, this area the decontam area and we send it down on that dirty elevator there. We've got spray bottles that we spray down all of our dirty instruments with as well as a fluid hopper to drop any extra fluids so we're not weighing down the trash can or anything like that with uh, with you know saline or, or bodily fluids stuff like that. The dirty utility room it's always got a weird smell to it. The suture room the suture room, the suture room, the suture room. Sutures of all shapes and sizes. This is your room. Sutures, 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 sutures. Lots of sutures. And pretty much all of them are in here, actually. Yeah, pretty much every suture that you can find for all of our cases are in this, uh, this little suture room. Things, uh... Things change around all the time in the OR. 
This didn't always used to be a suture room, and uh, I kind of like it that it's a suture room now. It's a perfect, perfect size for it. The instrument room. The beautiful, beautiful instrument room. This is where we keep case carts for the day, uh, and just massive amounts of instruments for all the cases that we do at this hospital. Again, organized very similar to the uh, supply room. It's, it's kind of grouped off into specialties. We've got general peel packs here, peel packs, peel packs, peel packs, and then we have pretty much all ortho, as you can see from there, pretty much all neurospine, which you can see there, all general on this side, boom. Row five is all the GYN, pediatric. I mean, labels. Labels make it so easy for everybody to figure out where stuff is. It's awesome. All of our CV stuff, ENT in the back. And this is pretty much all robotics. We got like, we got like four, I think four robots in use at my hospital. So they, we pretty much have an entire wall dedicated to robotic instruments and stuff like that. It can, uh, it can definitely be a lot of stuff. Scrub sinks. Scrub sinks are important, obviously. We gotta wash our hands for surgery, right? You will always find a scrub sink to a room. We got room five here, we got room four here. You'll always find a scrub sink connected to a room. It's gotta be there, right? You gotta scrub in for the room. So I wanna thank you guys on uh, coming through this tour of the OR with me. Um, maybe it gave you a little bit of insight into some other different rooms that you may not have heard of or may not have you know seen in, in some books um, not much else to say once you once you start working at a hospital or once you get into your externship and you're in a hospital familiarize yourself with the layout of the OR and and where stuff is in that in that sub sterile room sterile room and the instrument room those, those are your most important things. Familiarize yourself with those areas. It'll make life so much easier. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. La -la -la -la. The OR. We got our lights, we got our table, we got our back tables, nursing station, anesthesia. This, this is the lifeblood of the operating, of, of the OR completely. This is the lifeblood of the hospital. All of our patients are coming through here. Um, no, I don't like that. I don't like that.